What's going on guys, Rudolph Vion here with another PSO2 video. Hopefully this will give you some help on things starting off for you new PSO2 players. Hopefully this will <clears throat> help ease your, your suffering. Anyway, let's get to it. So, th today's NPC is the Tekker. The Tekker is the individual who actually identify your items. First and foremost, if you start from the gate area, all you have to do is go to the shop area from the teleports here and the tech area will be here on the left now you'll see this area you'll have the guy where you can actually buy weapons from and um of the sort but usually you won't do that maybe starting off you can buy the general stuff but don't worry about him too much now this lady right here again this is subject to change depending on the version that rolls out and such uh item tech chiara i believe her name is i, I chiara i anyway so Say you're in a mission, you find an unidentified item, and it's a weapon that you like, or you're like, oh, this is so cool. Starting off, you definitely get identified. This is the NPC you want to go to. So once you go in there, you can you have a few options. You have identify item, high grade identify, and identify egg. So just like weapons and armor and items, you will find unidentified eggs for summoner, and they, they're treated pretty much the same way. More than likely, you're going to use identify regular identify because a high grade identify is very expensive and i would only suggest doing that if you get a very high rarity roll and if you can afford it because it's very expensive as you see here the regular is about two to three k on these weapons but up here it's a hundred in the hundred k so keep that in mind if you're not rolling the mesta hey that's on you you can do it however you see fit but the important thing when identifying an item is the selection you have say so you get a eight star unidentified item of something you don't really want at that point ask yourself are you better off selling it or are you better off trying to identify it than selling it to an NPC now another thing you want to keep in mind is whenever you select it to identify you can select the element you want to be on the weapon which is really cool granted depending if you fight a lot of darkers or the current emergency code that's the popular thing to get that little slight bit of edge there that does help uh, down here is where you also get the ability to choose one of three options and again subject to chains guys you can select either between lucky rare drop Mesta fever or XP gain and now all these right here you see are 5% and the difference between this and the high grade as well when you're selecting a high grade you can actually select your lucky will be 7% uh, drop rate increase and your money uh, currency will be 10% increase and your XP gain will be 7% it's not that big of a difference it is a little difference but why not um, so you can select either of those say if you want to think of it practically Depending what level you are, depends on if you want to go for experience. Early on, experience will help, but after you get to a certain level, you're grinding, it's not that important. You'll be doing more uh, quests and codes to get XP, but that percentage does help just a little bit. It stacks with things. Um, I personally prefer getting a rare drop increase, even maybe 5 or 7%, because I just want rare items. That's simple as that. I want more rare items. The money, the money is not too much of an issue. You'll get it as it comes, uh, and you can get that from doing the weeklies and your dailies, your tacos. We'll get in that in another video. However, if you find you something really cool, a weapon that you like, or the weapon type that you like, go ahead and identify it. See if it's something good, and boom, got ten stars. It's just, it has three abilities, thirty-one light. Okay, that's not, that's not bad but you know to each their own and we'll go ahead see how that's 3k right here to identify hopefully that means it's something good it six abilities that's actually pretty good of course you can go back and don't mind my storage and everything you can actually go in here and you can see how much things on average you can sell for now Keep that in mind, the average of selling things is between that, uh, the same price that it takes to identify it. So, take it with a grain of salt. Happy Valentine's week, guys. This is the Valentine's event that's going on now. It just started in PSO2 on these servers. However, 
that's it for this video. Hopefully this NPC info has been very helpful. If I missed something, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we can discuss. That being said, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace.